I have been working on a project in collaboration with students, uh, which is a feature-length documentary about the mobile food movement uh, and its cultural and economic significance broadly. Portland has this thriving food court community, so we're lucky to be in a great place to examine this phenomenon more closely, though the research isn't just limited to our local community. The core research question of the documentary is, uh, you know, what is the, the sort of broader uh, significance of the mobile food movement? Uh, so sort of the how and the why. How is this happening? Why is this happening now? And why, why should people care about it? Coming into the project, Brian had put together a thorough plan for how we could approach the project, and we student collaborators were involved with every step of this uh, academic approach to filmmaking. Alongside Brian, we've researched the community, we've conducted interviews, we've shot what must be hundreds of hours of footage. And now we're, uh, we're working to assemble the film, so uh, students are helping me to, to, uh, to organize the, the footage and post-production software, and, uh, and we're working to edit, edit the project. A big reason mobile food is so interesting to examine for me is because it attracts such a breadth of people for, for very different reasons. In filming, we've talked to international and, and U.S. transplants sharing their culture. We've talked to chefs looking for a way to break into their industry. We've talked to entrepreneurs who are using this low entry hazard industry to realize their business goals. We've seen a lot of people working really hard to make a lot of different dreams come true. Uh, the central thesis of, of the film you know, affirms the hypothesis that we began with, which is to say that uh, you know, that there is a dynamic significance to the mobile food movement broadly. And a large part of that significance is the, uh, the enrichment that, that uh, is possible through the interactions between uh, customer and, uh, and proprietor and between uh, different constituencies in the ownership of, uh, of mobile food carts and trucks. What we've seen and continue to see is that these food carts are able to go beyond simple food delivery and they foster personal connections and are significantly able to affect the communities that they join or can create. What, what might be the best part is that at the end of the project we have this great cinematic delivery method to show the things we found. 